Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna play with some new mu blah, blah, music. Some new music. <laughs> I'm gonna play with some new makeup and some not so new makeup. Uh, some of it's just new to me. Some of it's new in uh, a newer release. Things like that. Um, <clears throat> so without further ado, let's get started. I'm gonna start with my eyes because I want, you know, them super. So I'm going to take my elf, you know, little doodads. Bring in my eyebrows. I'm trying to help, I'm like, I'm trying to grow them in just a little bit, like, he mostly, like, here and, like, a little bit up at my, like, arch, so... Forgive me for those for ya. Okay, so I'm gonna prime my eyelids with the, this is new to me, but I'm gonna prime it, the e.l.f. Camo Concealer, the 16 hour wear. Um, I'm really excited to try this. I finally found it at my local Target. Uh, they had it at my Walmart, but it was like $10 at my Walmart. So, like, I don't know if it was just misplaced because, like, this at Target was only $8. So, like, I don't know if it was misplaced or whatnot, but I am excited to give it a go. Uh, so, yeah. And so I got light peach. I'm hoping that the pinkiness with the peach will help cancel out my dark circles when I actually use it for concealer and then I'm gonna take the Tarte Young Wild and Cruelty Free palette I don't know if that's actually what it's called oh no it's called the Unleash palette so I'm gonna take that today and but first I'm gonna set my eyelids because there's no shadow in this that will set it sometimes I just take a shadow like this this isn't shadow but like a color like this and just set my eyelids but they don't have that in this palette the lightest shade has like some um, flecks of glitter if not like full-on yeah I get the white with glitter in it I don't know if you can see that so, I don't want to set my eyelids with that. Anyway, so we're going to go in with this palette. And we're going to... I'm going to see where this bad boy takes us today. So, I'm going to go in with... I'm going to go in with Toucan It. Toucan Do It. It's that orangey color. I'm going to start with that. Uh, ooh, very pigmented as my transition shade. If you can hear my daughter, I apologize. She's being very loud today. So I'm trying not to go fully in the crease. As you can see, like it's mostly above my crease with just slightly with a slight with a slight amount going into the crease and I focus more of the pig the most of the pigment on the outer portion of that area then I'm gonna do the same on the other But I do bring it all the way into the inner portion. So like I used to like stop right about where my eyebrow stops. Like right here. But now I've been actually taking it like all the way to almost to the bridge of my nose. And I just noticed that like that makes the look a little bit more cohesive. And I'm taking it like the shade also all the way like right up 
to where the end of my eyebrows stop um or like here like literally right here however you want to consider that um I've been doing that because while I have I don't have full-on hooded eyes I do have slightly hooded eyes to the point where sometimes it all gets lost and I never truly realized that until I did a look a couple months ago and I realized holy crap I've not been taking my shadow up high enough so like well, yes, you could still see part of it. It just, once I started doing, once I started pulling it up higher, like, I realized it just looked a hundred times better. Okay. And then I'm going to go into No Fox Given, which is the burnt orange color right next door. And I'm actually going to work this into the, my eye socket crease and crease. So, if you're new here, you'll understand that for the most part, I like to match whatever it is I'm wearing. <laughs> Today I'm wearing this bright orangey shirt, so we're going to kind of go with matching that today. So, I love this brush because it's super tapered, so it makes getting into the eye socket and crease super that much where that's where it puts the pigment instead of a brush like this which is slightly tapered where it goes everywhere more so than this one does and this is the Morphe um, M330 where this is the M Morphe M505 brother brush which I love that too as like an all over um, if you're gonna just do like a one shadowed look, that is perfect for just putting it all over the lid. It makes it quick and easy. I'm gonna take this with no additional product and basically just bl try to blend those two together. To make them look seamless. Which admittedly I will say that is not a strong point of mine. I do my best but it is not my biggest strong suit so sometimes one side will be like perfectly blended and everything's worked in perfectly but then I'll realize the other side like after I'm done and going about my day I'll realize that the other side is not that way so I gotta remember to just keep blending actually I'm gonna pick up a little bit of two can do it again and just work it over and blend them all together. I think that'll work better than just sitting there trying to blend. So I realized that a very defined line really works to make my eyes stand out and look really pretty. Whereas sometimes when I try to do like a a little bit more of a winged out, but there's no um, like tape or anything, uh, and it's kind of sloppily done, one side will come down like further, and this one will be like sharper. It's terrible, so I figured just continue on with the tape. It works wonders. Um, so I'm gonna take Monkey Business, which is like this beautiful gold like not 100% copper but more gold than copper and I'm gonna put that all over the lid and I like to use my finger like if um to do this honestly I find 
that you get the best payoff this way. I know wetting your brush can sometimes do that, but I just prefer this method. So I'm going to take the brush that we used for the crease and I'm just going to blend and buff any of the unwanted stuff away so that it blends a lot better. One of these days, one of these days, I will attempt a cut crease, but I, it scares the living daylights out of me. Like, some people make it look so easy, and I'm just like, ugh. I tried, so like I've already tried, but one day I will actually do it. I tried, but then like, the concealer, um, I tried to use got everywhere or I couldn't get the line straight. Like, I know it may not seem like it, but I'm sort of a perfectionist. So like once I mess up, it frustrates me to no end. Again, I'm just going to go and clean all this up. That's it for now. Let's swipe these bad boys right off. There's like virtually no fallout. Um, what you see here is from me concealing. There's a little bit of kickback to the shadows in the palette, but like no fallout when working them onto the eyes. Okay, so now I'm actually going to, I finally also found the Poreless Putty Primer at Target. which is supposed to be a dupe for the Tatcha Silk Canvas um, primer. So I'm excited to give this a try because, you know, if I can save some moolah. I will, like, I love that primer. It's really good. Um, so I'm hoping that this actually is a dupe and works just as well. Texture wise, it sort of, it like, it feels a little bit the same. I think this one is slightly softer, I would say. As weird as that sounds, like it feels just a little bit softer so you can manipulate it a little bit easier and pick up more. Okay, so I am trying out a foundation. Um, so I got a sample of it. It's the Estee Lauder Double Wear uh, Foundation. Um, I've actually been enjoying getting just sample sizes of foundations from Sephora based on like all of the um, like reviews and all that stuff because in a video that you'll see before this one, <clears throat> I talk about like an updated foundations that I've tried out recently and I had wanted the Tarte uh, Babasu found sealer and uh, I'm glad I only got a sample of it because I hated it and I would have been so mad if I had paid the 40 bucks for it otherwise so that's what I've decided I would try everything sample wise first before I just boldly buy again and I made that decision after um I bought the pure four-in-one love your selfie so I'm just dotting this all over the face and I'm so disappointed because I don't like that one I've tried it every which way powder no powder primer no primer multiple different primers and like I don't like it and I'm so sad because I had such high hopes for that so um I just I don't want to spend the $40 on a foundation anymore just to um hate it like I don't since, since I'm a stay-at-home mom you know uh, I don't want to waste money that my husband works. It's very hard. I'm just adding a little bit more. 
And my husband works very hard for her, so I figure if I just go in and get the samples where I can, then I'll do that. And if I can't get a sample, because like at Ulta they don't do samples, which I totally think they should. They should totally do that because... Honestly, I'd be more inclined to, like, buy foundations there after making this decision. But since they don't, you only get testers. And I was like, well, I can't really test it out like I would want to, like, with my primers or whatever. So, I would rather get a sample, test it out at home like this, and then go in and buy the foundations. So... And, like, right now is, like, foundation season, apparently, because everybody under the sun's coming out with one. Um, I really want to try the new Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation, the Luminous foundation. I wanted to try the Urban Decay Stay Naked foundation. But I've decided not to. Um, I saw some other reviews. And I know I should like form my own opinion. But like based on my skin. Which is normal. And like. And I say normal to dry most of the time. But it's normal. It's only really. <laughs> it's only really dry. Um, during the winter time. When it's a little extra cold. So like. He. Uh. You would think it would be during the summer, but because I, like, sweat a little bit more during the summer than I do during winter, it's more normal. So, um, yeah. Um, but I, the reviews that I heard on it weren't that promising, which is kind of, kind of sad, but... We'll see. I might change my mind and try it out. So, I like that. I'm going to take my sponge that is literally right in front of my hand and just try and smooth it out a little bit with a little bit more coverage right here on my cheeks. I can see my redness like peeking through. This blemish right here and my discoloration is right here. Like, just try to and also just to smooth everything out in case there's brush strokes, but I didn't see any. So. so far, I'm really liking the way it feels on my skin. Like, yes, I can feel it, but it's not super heavy. It's really lightweight. Okay, so I'm going to go and conceal it. This may be slightly too light. I think it's too light. Oh, yeah. I'll have to see what, like, the next pinky shade up is so that's that's a bit of a bummer but like it looks white in the monitor so we'll just go in with that much for now um but let's see because like i've heard so many people like say that this is great and it's kind of like a shape tape dupe kind of not 100 percent, but kind of but holy cow that's a stark white under eye versus what I normally like. So I want, like, the bad thing about not having testers. So. Whew. Oh, God. Let's see if I can fix that. Oh. That, that's really scary. At least according to my monitor. So I'm not, at this point in, point in time, with the shade selection, I am not a fan. Whew. But maybe I'll go buy a new one tomorrow with the right shade. I'm trying to, like, pick up as much as I can. I know I like to normally highlight, so let's get, like, a little spot. Oh, I did my chin. I don't normally do my chin anymore. Oh, well. So I will say a little goes a long way. So 
Rapunzel and increases. I'm setting that, which probably is a bad idea with the Brighten Up powder. Banana powder from Essence. Does that help a little bit? I'm gonna set my face with the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. I got this in my BoxyCharm this month, so I'm kinda, I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. I used it the other day and I was just like, ooh, that is cold. Like, not that I didn't believe everybody when, like, it came out, but, like, I was pleasantly surprised. Let me put a little under my eyes. Maybe that'll help it. So this is, uh, we'll see. <laughs> like, we'll definitely see, because I'm not 100% happy with that. I'm going to bronze with the Milani Silky Matte. Bronzer in Sunkissed. I think this is my favorite bronzer, honestly. Besides, like, my Tarte Chisel palette and my Wet n Wild bronzer, all the other bronzers that I've tried, I've never really, like, ooh keep going back to but I keep going back to this one. I'm going to take the Artist Couture Purple Dream Diamond Glow Powder and highlight my cheeks. I got this in a boxy charm too. And I don't use it very often and I really felt like using it today. I think mostly because it's like really glittery. And it's funny because <laughs> like there's certain people like certain um youtubers that i've watched that go like i hate a chunky highlight but then they're like oh i love this and i'm like i have that and it has chunks of glitter in it like it's kind of a weird to be like oh i hate highlighters like that but oh this is my favorite it's like okay it's like it's weird because it's like if you look at it it looks peachy but it definitely has like a purpley shift to it. I, I think it's pretty, even with its chunky glitters. Plus I only used it like three times after I got it, so I figured, you know, let's not have it go to waste. And then I'm gonna highlight with the Laura Geller Baked Blush and Brighten in Tropic Hue. I love this because it literally gives like the healthiest glow when putting, like giving your colors, giving your colors, giving your cheeks color, but it also gives like such a beautiful glow. Let's finish up the under eye. So I'm going to go in first with um, No Fox Given, which is that dark orange shade. And I'm going to go right, right along the lash line. I'm going to take Two Can Do It and buff that all the way up. Fix this a little bit. Do the same on this side. Okay, and then I'm gonna take your lion and pop that into my inner corner. I'm gonna drag it up into monkey business. So that it all kind of like cohesively merges together. And take just the slightest bit and go right here on the inner corner and lower lash line. Just the teensiest bit. I'm going to prime my eyelashes with the L'Oreal Voluminous um, Primer. 
I've really been enjoying doing this. I think it helps make my lashes look a lot longer, especially when I'm not going to put on false lashes. So when I'm putting on false lashes, I do not prime my eyelids. And then I'm going to let that sit for a second and dry. And while we do that, I'm going to do put the Busy Gal Brows from Tarte in my eyebrows, which I really like this too. It's really nice for just a quick... I want to add a little bit more to my brows, but I don't want to be super... Um, you don't want to overly do them in. I just want to do enough to look put together. So definitely, if you see this, I definitely say if you can wait until you have your 20% off coupon or mm, when it's on sale, I say you definitely get it then. I don't know if it's worth the full price, but like for a tinted brow gel, it's really nice. And I really like the thin um, spoolie because I don't get it everywhere like I do with my Anastasia Beverly Hills one. I get that like literally everywhere and that drives me nuts but this gives you enough tint to help conceal the sparser areas but I don't know that it's worth the full price. Granted, I've never paid full price for it. I got it on sale. That's why I'm suggesting just wait. Because, you know. Ulta does do sales. And then so does... Um, <clears throat> obviously, Tarte.com. So, I like it. It is good. However, you might just want to wait. I'm going to go in with the Tarte Big Ego Mascara. I got this when I bought the Unleashed Palette. And I don't like it on its own. I don't think it gives the lash effects that they claim it they claim it does. On me at least, without a primer. So like I like to pair the two. Um, it this is what the brush looks like. It reminds me of the Too Faced Better Than Sex one, which I don't like that mascara because it flakes on me. So this doesn't flake on me, and I I do like it. It's just. It doesn't give me the oomph by itself, which isn't a big deal. I don't mind priming my um, eyelashes, but I think it's not a bad mascara. I have this retarded lash that's... Okay, it's not retarded. This stupid lash that doesn't want to go in the right direction. Alright, we all know I would have like set my face before I did lashes or my eyebrows, but because I forgot a setting spray, we're not going to do that. But I am going to do my lips now. And this is Milani's Bold Matte in I Am Smart. It's their num number four, I Am Smart. And it's actually a pretty comfortable matte. It's not a super drying matte. Like the, I like the Huda Beauty ones, but I always layer that one with a more, um, with like the Maybelline... Um, shine lipsticks like the this one's uh, about a space I'm gonna put this on on top um, like I don't have to because it's really comfortable but I just like that what the two of them look like together um, but with the Huda Beauty matte bullet lipsticks they are very dry so it's like putting on a lip li liquid lipstick so I have to put another lipstick on top of it or a lip gloss to make it comfortable. So like with these ones, I can wear it on its own. I don't have to, but I want to, I don't want this. So I'm just going to. 
tone it down and give it some shine. And that is the final look, you guys. So what do we think? I really like it. Kind of gives me sunset vibes. After this foundation has been on my face, I see a little creasing here. It's not sunken into my smile line so much, which with the pure, the pure 4 in 1 Love Your Selfie concealer and foundation, that sinks in so noticeable by the time I'm done with my makeup that it's like terrible. Um, so, like, this is kind of normal. We'll see if it gets any worse throughout the day. And I'll let you, I'll let you know in, like, the description box if it does. Um, let's see. But the foundation feels comfortable. Like, I just remember I said you can kind of feel it on your skin, but it's lightweight. Now that it's, like, sunken in and everything's on top of it, it doesn't, I don't feel it as much, if that makes sense. Like, it could have been the um, set and refresh powder because it is like wet feeling. So like it could have helped with that. And I'm sure if I had brought my setting spray, it would be even more like sunken in and feels perfect. Um, but yeah, so that is the final look. That's my first impressions on the foundation. The concealer, I'm not mad at. Like, it's not horrible at this point in time, but it is just as much as it says light peach, I would say it's more of like a fair peach. So, um, well, I'll have to just, like I said, get a new one in a, in a better shade. Um, and hopefully it'll work better. The putty primer isn't, like, it, I, it's, I don't know, but, like, I like the Silk Canvas one. It works great with, um, a few of my other foundations that don't work great with anything else. Um, so I'll have to try this with those foundations and see if it works really the same. But for, so far, it, to me, it's the same. There's no, like, noticeable difference. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more, let me know what you want to see, and I'll do my best to do it. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next one.